Today we're working on a full spectrum laser MLE40. This is the 40 watt fourth generation hobby laser. And today I'm going to show you how to properly adjust the tension on the carriage wheels to get the, the best tension and the best accuracy, um, get everything aligned just right. Uh, the instructions don't quite make it very clear how this all works, so I'm going to try to make it really clear and easy for you guys today. Um, all you're going to need is a precision screwdriver set with uh, the appropriate bits. Um, you're going to need a, a small Phillips, a larger Phillips, and a 2.5 millimeter hex or Allen key. That's pretty much all you need. Um, if you want to adjust from the bottom, you can use a little flat edge uh, bit as well. Um, if you don't have a good precision screwdriver set, go ahead and check the link down in the description below. I'll put a link to a really good one there for you. Alright, so when it comes to the tension on these, they don't really make it clear. They talk about an eccentric uh, screw and stuff, and it's kind of confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and take one apart to show you exactly what is going on on the inside there. That way there's no confusion, and when you go to do it yourself, it'll be really easy. So I'll just take out the one screw holding the wheel on. Pull the wheel off, and let's take a look at the wheel real quick. It's actually ball bearing. It does have a bearing in the middle, which is good. So you don't need to worry about putting all kinds of grease or white lithium oil or um, any kind of oil on there because it is ball bearing. So your oil is not really going to be doing anything. Uh, it is a sealed bearing. Um, so don't worry about that. Let's take a... Uh, go ahead and loosen the set screw and let's just pull this out. You can see there exactly what's going on. All right. See how it's bigger on one side, kind of oblong. So as you turn it, it's going to uh, make the wheel go closer or further away from the the carriage rail there. So it's just bigger on one side, and that's what they mean when they say it's eccentric. So as you turn this, it's going to make it closer or further away. All right. Let's go ahead and put it back in. And uh, this is a little trick that. I discovered that makes it a lot easier than trying to hit that screw down on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put our our wheel back on. Snug that up. All right. So this is how I like to do it now. Instead of using a mirror and trying to hit those bottom screws which is perfectly acceptable, you can do that. Um, I like to just use the top screw and make sure they're all oriented the same way. So, I'll show you how to do that in here in a second. I'm not left-handed. Okay. Go ahead and loosen up all four set screws using your 2.5 millimeter hex. Just loosen them all up. Around to the back side. Loosen those. Loosen those. Alright, so now all four set screws are loose. Now we're going to put our uh, small Phillips back in. And what I like to do on the front here is just turn it from the top to its furthest or closest point. That's what I found works well on my laser. Your wheels might be slightly bigger or slightly different. You see how it's getting closer and further away? I'm going to set it to the closest point like that. Same thing on this side. And because you're always turning it clockwise, it's not going to loosen the screw. Alright. So that's closest point there closest point there. Now we'll just uh, snug down the set screws here. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten those. By putting both of those at their closest point, we're automatically setting the right alignment with the carriage and uh, automatically setting equidistant there. So it, it kind of like takes the guesswork out of uh, getting it right where it's supposed to be. Alright, so now both front wheels are in their furthest forward position. 
we come over here to the back and then these are both loose what we're going to do here loosen them up a little bit and then turn it so it just contacts the, the gantry or the carriage same thing on this one, loosen it and just so it contacts it so now they're both rolling free, there's no play there's a little bit of play loosen it and then snug it against the gantry loosen it snug it against the gantry loose snug so all of our adjustment is going to happen here in the back doing it that way in the instructions they say to make those loose and then let the let the set screws tighten it down I don't know what they're talking about um, you're not going to be able to tighten it enough on the set screws to make a difference there. Go ahead and just snug them up, snug them up, and then snug the set screws. Now we've got a nice, nice smooth flow. The ball bearings are doing all the work there. You don't have to worry about it binding because the, these are ball bearings here. All right. A nice smooth flow. No play. That's the way, the way we want it. I, I do have the, the laser head taken off for the video. Uh, you can do it just as easily with the laser on there. I just wanted to take that off so you could see what was going on. Um, so be sure to stay tuned for more uh, great laser videos and uh, subscribe to the channel.